You went visiting, didn't you? I did. The crew and I, we went to Tillicum Place, which is just south of Seattle Center, where the big statue of Chief, Chief Seattle is located. Okay. And there is a wonderful little cafe that, there called Tillicum Place Cafe. So I got to cook with Chef Ba Colbert there, and we made Dutch babies. Now, George, we did not really cook babies. I, 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 we I, made I was Dutch worried babies. there for a minute, folks. I really was. Even Dutch babies, you know, I, we, we, we have to be very careful. Yes. So you were, you were gentle with them. We were gentle with okay. them. Okay. So Dutch babies are all about eggs and puffing in the oven and just general yumminess. So you're going to want to watch this and get, get all this stuff because Dutch babies are very easy and wonderful. Did you get a good taste? Oh, did I? Okay, let's watch. Here we are at Tillicum Place Cafe, just south of Seattle Center in Belltown, and I'm with Chef Ba Colbert. We have just sampled some absolute yumminess, and I am so excited that we're here. Ba, would you like to tell our viewers what we're making today? This morning we're making Dutch babies. Um, we are making three different ones. We've got a sweet one with apples that I'm preparing here, a savory one with bacon and green onions, and then a plain one that's Ooh. just simple and straightforward. Great. Well, I, I'm excited about this. So I see we're getting started here with the apples. This is going to be the first one? Yes. I'm slicing up the apples in little thin wedges. Thinner is better because they get lots of caramelization on the outside, right? Yeah, but you don't want them too thin because then they'll start they falling melt. apart. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you want a little texture in there when you're eating it. Yes. And here we are in apple country, so you know, what better could you make? Now, yeah. do you serve this as um, an entree, a breakfast entree, a dessert? How do you serve this here at the cafe? We serve them for breakfast. Um, they're on our brunch menu as well as our lunch menu, so you can get them every day. Great. But, uh, only every during day. the day. Okay. Um, so, when, once we've sliced them, I've got a saute pan on the stove. I'm going to put the heat on. And if you could pass me some butter, please. This is butter. <laughs> Yeah. Everything is better with we, butter. Yeah, we do use the butter makes them tasty and also it helps them caramelize because the solids in the butter help them brown a little bit and make them nice and tasty. Yes. Apples and butter. That's actually one of the desserts I truly love is apples and butter. Just you know, a little caramelization on them. Yeah, just just like that. It's like apple pie a little without fresh the crust. Yeah. yeah. It sounds delicious. Yeah, these, the apples we're using are Honeycrisp apples. They're oh, from yes. Washington State. Washington apples. Did these, these are beautiful. So I've got a little, um, just fresh honey. We just want to add a, a little bit of sweetness. Not too much because the apples have a nice flavor and the kind of tart sweet combination is really nice in the baby. Okay. And what, what I've got a, some lemon juice. A little lemon juice. Just give it a little spark there. That's right. And then also some thyme. Um, it gives I a, love thyme with apples. Yeah, it's a nice combination, even in a sweet application, mm -hmm. because it uh, it's very aromatic. And I think things are interesting when they have a, a sweet component and a savory component. It makes it a little bit more dynamic. When you're Great, all right. It. So we can just let those sit there a minute while right. we work on our batter. Here we've got um, six eggs. Um, that I'm going to whisk these eggs and then I have uh, some milk. The recipe is very simple. Um, it's just three basic components and a little bit of salt. Um, so I've got the eggs here and a cup and a half of milk. I'm going to pour in about half of the milk and whisk it into the eggs. And about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. The salt That's is important. A fair amount of salt in such a small amount. Yeah. It is. Um, it helps make it a little bit brighter. Um, otherwise, it, it tastes kind of flat without the salt. Okay. Ooh, so we're getting some color on these, and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I don't want to burn them. Those are but. beautiful. All right. So can you pass the flour, please? 
So this is also a cup and a half of flour. Thank you. So I'm going to whisk this all together. And uh, it's a little bit easier to, I add the milk in two stages, because this way I can um, mix it together slowly. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be pretty lumpy. Yeah, and it I always looks a little scary at this stage. <laughs> yeah. So if you just mix the flour with the eggs, it would be a lot more difficult to mix. But if you mix it all in, it, it's just kind of a lot of, of batter to start with. So if you could pour the rest of the milk in there, please. Thank you. These are going to be great. I'm telling you, we've already sampled them. So here I'm. And now those lumps are smoothing right out. That's right. Um, here at the restaurant, we usually um, strain the batter. Mm -hmm. um, just got my apples turned off. Um, we strain the batter because we don't want any lumps, and we're right. usually making quite a few at a time, so it's just easier for us to do that. But it's not necessary. Super hot skillets from the oven. Yeah. Um, you don't have to start the skillet in the oven. We do right. because it makes it a little bit faster, but you do want a really hot pan to put right. it into. Okay. So we're going to add some butter to the pan. More butter. More butter. And because the pan's been in the oven, and it's about a, a, a tablespoon of butter or so. Okay. Then we're going to take our apples. Pass me the spoon, please. Thank you. Apples that are nice and caramelized, we're going to put them in the pan. I'm actually okay with just that. That looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks fantastic. How can you not want to eat that? <laughs> and then we pour the batter. I'll save some of the apples for you. You can have them on the side. We want to go about two-thirds the way up the pan, and you see how the butter is foaming on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, a good thing. So. That uh, tells you your pan is hot. Tells you your pan is hot this. and it's starting to cook a little bit on the outside already. Then into the oven. Now we're going to make the savory one. I see you've got some bacon here. Yes, um, we're using slab bacon. Okay. Um, although you don't need to, you can just use sliced bacon. Whatever, whatever you have. All right. Yeah. And what do you do with it here? Um, I cut it in strips and then I cut it into small pieces and just okay. kind of render it out a little bit. And. Got my pan again. And if you could pass the butter, please. More butter. <laughs> if you're really adventurous, you could use the rendered bacon fat to bake the okay. baby in and be really savory. But today we're just going to use butter. Again, it's about a tablespoon. And if you could pass me the bacon. Here are our little bacon bits once they've been cooked off. Bit of scatter a few on the bottom. And then our green onions. Now this looks like something I want to make for dinner. It's delicious for dinner with a small side salad. I can only it's really imagine. savory. And again, our batter, we're going to fill it about two-thirds of the way up. And the same for a plain. Ooh, look at that bubbling. It smells so good in here. I wish all of our viewers could smell this. Yeah, nothing like bacon. Nothing like <laughs> bacon, yes, and butter. 
Here we go. Our savory baby is ready. Ooh. Oh, this smells absolutely divine. I cannot wait to have one more taste of this. We are at Telecom Place Cafe. Thank you to Chef Bob Colbert. This has been delightful to be here this morning. Thanks. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure to have you.